course, as soon as I turn the camera on, someone starts mowing their lawn, but we move. <laughs> Welcome back, queens. We are doing, as you can see, a closet video today. Um, it's that time. Actually, it's kind of past that time. I'm a little late where I need to switch my closet over from spring, summer to fall, winter. Um, and I actually don't have that many things to bring out. I, because of all the traveling, I feel like I just have most things out, but I do have a few like heavy, heavy sweaters, um, some leather pieces that I'm gonna bring out um, and then put away some like super summery pieces. Again, not sure how much I'll put away because like art bath was coming up and hopefully I'll take a vacation. But that's what we're doing today. And of course, I always like to purge before I do this, any type of anything in my closet. We wanna purge, just get rid of things that are no longer serving us, don't bring us joy, no longer fit. And I'll also like assess if I need to take anything to the cleaners, stuff like that. Um, and I also have a few new pieces and not a few, a lot. I'm doing a, a haul video after this, but I also don't wanna even add th these things to my closet until I do like a good purge and just reset my closet. So this video is in partnership with Lily Silk. This is my first time working with them. Really impressed by the pieces. Um, I'm wearing one of the sweaters. We'll get into the pieces that I got, but I needed some like staples. Like I think, I feel like I have all of the like Statement pieces, you know, bold pieces, pops of color, nice blazers, um, you know, cool jackets, nice coats, um, but literally like sweaters and like shirts and like even some more like trouser options is what I was missing. So that's what I picked up from Lily Silk. Um, so let's get into that. So this is the first piece that I got from Lily Silk. I'll do a split screen so you can see the whole outfit, but I just started with some jeans and I'm really into navy. I feel like we talked about this in a video as opposed to black. I mean, black is always that girl for me, um, but I've been liking navy more. It's just another option that's just not so harsh. Um, and I just have it on with some jeans and I just need, what I really needed was one basics, but also like high quality basics because I wear like my turtlenecks, my sweaters, my button up shirts, my, Roll necks. I, I wear them so often, especially if I like them. And I found that like by the end of a season, they would just be disheveled and like falling apart and just like looking like where you're not excited to wear it as much anymore because it just looks a little rough. So I'm excited about these Lily Silk pieces. They're all about quality. They were recently recommended by Forbes and this is one of Anne Hathaway's favorite brands. So I figured if it's good enough for her, it's good enough for me. And quality over quantity. So I only have, I think five items because I'm not trying to add that much to my closet, but what I do add, I need her to be that girl. So um, this is the first, and this is actually just what I'm wearing today because I just really like the option and it goes perfectly with my necklace. I love that for me. This is the next shirt. This is so cute. I told you I was into navy. <laughs> um, this is 100% silk and I absolutely love uh, the pinstripe. Hopefully it's not too bright in here. Um, love the pinstripe. Also love this little detail here. Can you see that? So cute. Um, but yeah, this is super chic, super cute. Um, and I just did it with some dark, my little like dark wash wide leg pants. But this is, this is adorable. I love this. If I didn't say the sweater was in a medium and then I just got everything in a medium, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, so it's a re very relaxed fit. So feels amazing. I should probably try their pajamas. Y'all know I'm a silk pajama girl. I should probably try their pajamas too because this quality feels really, really nice. Um, and I feel like this would look cute, obviously tucked in too, but I just wanted to see like the length and where it fell as medium. Um, and then I got two pair of trousers, the next pair of pants. They're stunning in the most delicious chocolate brown. I actually dressed them down. Um, so I just did like a little sweater and my uh, loafers, <laughs> just to keep the brown tones very like earthy. This is so cute. I need to figure out a bag, but I love this. It's just like an easy, you know, casual kind of look, but still like such, love the textures here. Like adding something more knitted with like the silky fabric. And then for like silk in the fall and winter, you can of course just wear tights underneath or something thicker. Um, but this is also really nice if you're working from home. These look like the sheen on these, they look so luxurious. Obsessed, obsessed. Look at the color, look at the color. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. 
Now I have a full look on from Lily Silk. And what I love about this sweater is that this looks like the type of sweaters that would be itchy, but it, it has to have some blend of silk in it because it feels like smooth against my skin, if that makes sense. Like soft and like silky. That's the best way I can describe it, but it's very much a knit. Um, I love this color. I also tried to get like um, things that aren't black because I feel like most of my basics that I do have and the basics that I love are black. So I wanted more like warm nudes, neutrals, taupes, oatmeal kind of colors. I love this. I don't have anything like it. Again, I like for my sweaters to have like some texture to it. And then an, an, an option with um, more trousers. You know, I love to travel in trousers. This has like a little stretchy waistband in the back, but very much tailored in the front. Love the print. It's like a plaid, but like a micro plaid. So it's not too bold. It's just, just, just how I like it. Um, and I just put it on with my Princetown loafers, which I feel like need to make a comeback. This is like giving Cabin in the Woods, <laughs> you know, sitting by the fire, reading a book. Medium, size medium, and then the pants are size six. So I would say I'm pretty much a four right now. So I would probably suggest sizing up because like the other pants, I had a little room, but these I really don't have any room. So like they're pretty snug. So I would size up just to be safe. Getting in that same kind of family of like taupe. I would, I would say that the last one was more oatmeal. This is more taupe. Um, absolutely love this. This is a size medium. I'm gonna tuck it in, but I just wanted to show you how it looks. And then I wanted to brighten it up a little bit. So I put on some like off-white jeans. So probably wear it tucked in. I love, talk about how important necklines are to me, especially since I cut my hair. So I love a deep V or a high neck, like a roll neck kind of style. So I really like this like polo style with the DV. Just a little uh, adorable. This feels so good. And that's what I need my sweater. I need my sweaters to like feel cozy, like of course warm, but like when you just want to put something on because it feels good, that's how this feels. Love this. I need to see what other colors this comes in. But this is this one. Also a size medium. My favorite. This or the, the blue. But I've been seeing these little striped sweaters. And I was just waiting on the perfect one. And the one with black <laughs> was the one for me. Again, amazing quality. This feels really soft. And I wanted to like make it a little cooler and less classic. So I did it with leather pants. And I love these. And then I actually did it with my furry Gucci mules, which makes it even more like extra. I think this is, this is just easy. It's easy, it's chic. This is a good work outfit. It's a good weekend outfit. This is super cute. Again, I got a medium in this. This is my last Lily Silk piece. Um, I do have two discount codes. I'll put them both on the screen and I think you can use them together. I, I put everything you need to know on the screen. Also check the description box. Um, but again, make sure you check out Lily Silk. These are all the pieces I'm adding into my closet, but first we need to get to the purge. Then we need to pull out the like super summery stuff. Then we need to bring in the super wintry stuff and then add in the Lily Silk pieces. So let's get into the closet refresh. We're gonna get started with my favorite section as always, the blazers. Um, always the hardest. So let's just jump right into it. Um, and we're gonna go through all the hanging probably first. I think pants are pretty good and skirts, but we'll skim through them. But, um, really quick, um, I have classic white linen blazer. It's like my go-to summer blazer. So I'm gonna leave that. This has been on the chopping block before. This is a piece, this is a vintage piece I got from What Goes Around Comes Around. Still never worn it. I'm disgusted at the amount I paid for it. It's a vintage Mugler piece, but I still have hope. Um, <laughs> this is a Chanel jacket that I have worn before, so we'll keep that. Favorite Urban Revival jacket, um, so we'll keep that. This, I haven't worn that much, but these tweed jackets always come in handy for like dressier things. So I'm gonna hold on to them. As you can see, I have several, but I feel like they get worn. We still have not worn this. We said we were gonna give her one last winter, this bumblebee little jacket. So that's what she's getting. After this, if we do the spring refresh and we didn't wear her, she's gotta go. This is the last chance. 
Um, as you can see, the black blazers are really, it's a lot, but I wear black blazers a lot. Of course, my favorite spoon blazer, good linen summer blazer, Mugler, which is for edgier things. And then this wardrobe NYC one, which is a good travel one. This, still never worn this Christopher John Rogers blazer. I have hope for her, but maybe I need to get it tailored. I'm not sure. <sighs> We're gonna hold on to her. I uh, love this blazer. This Gani blazer I bought in Copenhagen. I should have bought it in black or neutral, so I don't know. Love this blazer. I actually, I purged this last time and then I brought it back. This Chanel vintage blazer, I can't get rid of it. Um, and I don't have that many colorful blazers, so I always hold on to this. So we're getting rid of no blazers. That was not productive. Um, moving on, leather jackets, of course. My favorite YSL jacket is staying. This is probably going, this is vintage, but I just feel like I have too many black jackets. Um, this little cape jacket I really like. YSL, my favorite funky shop, that's staying, of course. Um, this I love, I just need to wear this season. This is also vintage that I got in Paris. This little vest is staying, that's just a cool piece. Um, this was a gift, so I'm going to keep it because I haven't styled it yet. Look, look at her. She fell on. Uh, this is just my little short set, so that's going to stay. This I would like to get some wear out of. It's not going anywhere, but this is um, an off-white piece, and I just never like actually worn it. But I love it. Um, denim jacket. This other denim jacket was a gift but i think it's gonna have to go this little zara jacket that i love this denim outfit we talked about during fashion week still haven't worn it <laughs> she's gonna keep hope alive and then my favorite frankie shop like white leather jacket so that's staying so two things out of all of that to mind i purge often I, these are the bigger purges but i do cull often um so let's go through this is a jacket so that should be over here um yes okay so this is kind of we also need to like color coordinate a bit but we have our metallics these are mostly new this could probably go up but i know i'm gonna wear it if i go to art basel i'm gonna take it i already have an outfit of like this with some jeans or like some little shorts so we're gonna keep that we're gonna keep that out, metallics, and then I got a lot of like long sleeves, body suits. Get the hangers out. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. This is a linen shirt that, I just keep linen shirts, but this one is just like not great quality. So I didn't find myself reaching for it that much this summer. So I'm not even gonna bother putting it away to bring out next summer. Um, lots of silks, more body suits. Um, again, I could put these pieces up, but I'm pretty sure like one of these will be my travel outfit when I go, you know, somewhere. I feel like I have a lot of collar shirts that I just, I know I should keep, but again, I didn't wear that either all summer. Um, corset, I'm going to hold on to that. I think I'm going to get rid of this top or maybe I'll give it, maybe I'll give it art basil i really like it but my boobs just don't fit in it unfortunately i knew that when i bought it maybe i'll take it to the tailor that's what i do i'm gonna take this to the tailor see this is a good time to reassess things i'm gonna take it to the tailor and see if she can take the padding out of here because there's literally like i can feel a pad and i love when they make a little slit so you can just pull it out but before i give it away or sell it um this is a pretty expensive top if she could take the padding out, it would fit perfectly. Cause right now it just pushes my boobs up too much. And it's just, you know, you don't get the feel on the top. That's what I'm gonna do. Let me put pieces that we love. I haven't worn this outfit in a while, but I really like it. I, it's like a silk skirt matching top. So I need to, but it's a good, like someone invites me to a dinner or something like that. Easy, like whole outfit is there. Um, a lot of these silk shirts I haven't worn as much, but again, we'll keep them. Um, same thing with these button shirts, I, button up shirts. I feel like I'm gonna be more prone to wear the green, but I haven't 
I haven't reached for either one of these shirts. This is this. I feel like I got those when I was in my phase of like, you just need to wear more color. You need to wear more color, but like, I don't reach for them. So let's stop buying them. <laughs> um, I still need to wear this shirt, this Mew Mew shirt. It's on the chopping block, but we'll hold on to it. This is just kind of a statement shirt. This was a gift I still need to wear from Bruce Glenn, black on brim. Um, and I love the zebra. So this is definitely gonna get worn. Another silk set. These are both staples. This, ugh, as you can see, still has a tag on it. And I went and got it tailored, hoping to make it work. It's a Bottega shirt, but it just doesn't fit well. That That's a huge miss. Um, also still has a tag on it. I bought this for the summer. Didn't wear it, so I'm not even gonna put it up. Good staples. This shirt I still have not worn, but I know when the time comes. This is a Dries Van Noten shirt. I know when the right outfit comes, this is gonna be a banger. I just <laughs> need to be patient, but I've also had it for like a year. <laughs> so um, this shirt I was really excited about, I got from Mango. It's just too big. Uh, it's oversized and I got it in a medium. It's so pretty though. Like it literally has like sparkles all over it. But every time I pull it out, it's just like, oh, I feel instant regret. So we're gonna hold on to it and see what we see. Most of my white shirts are just classics, essentials, yeah. Um, let's quickly go through ugh, skirts. And the skirts, I pretty much have like most of the summer and winter together. Again, just in case we go on trips. I do need to feel, I need to pull this back out or, or get some wear out of this. Um, I probably haven't worn that in like two years, but that's a good one. This is on the chopping block because I've never worn it. I feel like it needs to be taken in the waist. Probably, how is this an eight? Maybe it's a UK eight, I'm so confused. But I do enjoy it. Um, This needs to be sold. This was one of those impulse fashion week purchases that never happened. And again, I was forcing myself to wear color. And this is like understanding what you're comfortable with and like just what you like. This skirt, same brand, these are both awake mode, but like this skirt, I've worn a ton versus this skirt. And this is just more palatable for me as someone who just prefers neutrals. This color yellow, which is kind of the same color as that Loewe, um bag this kind of like butter yellow pastel yellow it's just easier for me goes better with neutrals this is just a bit too dramatic for me um uh, black green we talked about this this was also a like i need to wear more color kind of purchase and i just don't i wore it once and it was super cute Oh, no, uh, Miss Christopher, Christopher John Rogers. Oh, could we do this? Listen, because <laughs> both of these pieces are on there. Oh, that could be cute. That could be cute, a whole Christopher John Rogers look. I'm gonna literally keep this out. Like this needs to hang somewhere <laughs> so I can like keep it top of mind. That could be cute. Um, dresses I'm not gonna go through because I recently went through my dresses. And they're all, they're all keeps. So I'm just gonna keep this here. Um, I'm just quickly glancing at my shoes. Um, I could put away, I'm definitely gonna put away some of these sandals. Like the like more statement-y ones. Um, basically like in the summer, I put some of the boots in the closet in this room um, and I've recently taken most of those out. So I'm going to put away some of the like specialty statement sandals that like I probably won't take on vacation or just kind of like more of a moment. Um, I'm trying to think, should I keep these out? These would be good for Art Basel because they're comfortable. I'll leave these out, but I need to make room for like more boots. I'll be right back the suits, which I feel pretty good about. 
um, that little cream suit, this oversized cream suit. Still love these. Um, can you see? This little thrifted suit that I still love. I cut into shorts. Always a keeper. My favorite Walmart suit. Like, this is just a beautiful color. Um, this Ghani outfit, I just, I bought it. I shot it. Once I looked at the pictures, I don't feel like it looked that great on me. But I'm going to try to restyle it for winter with like a button-up shirt underneath. We'll see. Um, vintage me glare suit, love. Kavali suit, Chanel suit, love. Rotate, Aknavis, one of my favorite brands. Um, we could probably put this up. But again, there's room, so I'm not that pressed about it. Um, this is, what is this by? Oh, Dries Van Noten, another Frankie shop. Love all the suits. Love all the suits, so. Um, and then the drawers I was telling you down here, these are just have jeans, which let me just quickly go through actually. Can you see me? Okay. I feel like these Levi's, no, but you always need Levi's. These I'm getting rid of. These are like some little metallic, just too trendy. Jeans. Um, a Goldie, that's just a good pair of pants. This brand, Etika, Etika. These were, these are, these fit nice. If I just want like a simple pair of pants. There's literally barely anything in these drawers. I just got it for extra space. And then I have all of my Attico pants, like cargos. So of course we want to keep those. We love those. Um, where is he? these Kate jeans that are so freaking tight I'm a 27 I got a 28 they're still like I can barely sit down so I don't know what but I didn't check I didn't try them on in time these are our jeans some of my favorites like maybe I should just wear them and try to stretch them a little because it's like the perfect wash I'm gonna leave them out for now Okay, let's go grab the stuff we're bringing in. And already just looking at this, I can tell there's a lot I'm not gonna bring out that I'm probably just gonna donate. Cause again, I feel like last year I was kind of just pressuring myself to buy more bold, colorful items and I just never reach for them. So we can quickly, this I'm actually gonna, that was like a little feathery tube top. I love it, but that one is too big, so probably gonna sell it this suit as bold as it looks it's vintage it's gorgeous <laughs> um I got it in Paris so that's staying. that's a showpiece dinner something like that um great leather skirt no I'm keeping that this suit that is going that's that yellow that I just don't really love on me what is this oh this is a dress that I wore for New Year's that I also didn't really love on me um, this is one of my favorite tops. This is a Kate top, which I don't mind this color, but this one is too big now. It was slightly too big when I put it away last winter. So I know it's too big now. This matches that skirt, which I feel will be a moment. So I'm holding on to that. Love this top. This is a Tom Ford top that I got pre-loved. Um, this, oh, rotate dress. This is like one of my favorites little party dresses. So that's staying. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that red Zara dress. This is just a good turtleneck. So yeah, and then over here, this is a Massimo Duty dress that has a matching jacket and I love it. Um, one of my favorite mango sweaters with a little matching scarf. Keeping that. Um, this La Hueve sweater, that's a good one. This is a Glamour dress. It's a bit bright. I have a Glamode and a Christopher John Rogers dress that are both bright. But I just really want to keep them. So we'll give them one more season. But based on the colors, it's not looking good. This Fendi sweater, I get a lot of wear out of it every winter. This I'm going to get rid of. This just isn't my vibe as much anymore. That same shirt, but in white. Again, one of my favorite winter sweaters. Another favorite winter sweater. <laughs> um... Our Marine Sayre, which I feel like I might be over, but we're going to see. 
this Dries dress with matching gloves a moment. And, oh, one of my favorite turtlenecks by Commando, I believe. So, we will put that in the giveaway sale pile. And then this is everything that needs to be added. So it's actually quite a bit. All right. I also put the jeans on from Kate to see if we can stretch them. They're just 100% cotton. So if you know, you know, like they get tight. All right, in these drawers, I just have like all of my like tank tops, corsets, and just like t-shirts and stuff like that. So I typically will put these little turtleneck kind of tops in there. So that's where all the marine sarah will go. And then let's hang up these dresses. Here's a better look at the, this is the Glamode one. Also very finicky about sweater dresses in general. I feel like they just are not typically that flattering. I'm gonna put these to the side because I'm just not, I, I don't feel my best in them and I really don't wanna add things back into my closet. They don't make me feel my best. That just makes no sense. Um, so this is the, like I'd rather wear a dress like this. This is the Massimo Duty dress, has matching boots and a jacket, and it's just so, so chic. Um, you gotta get out of the way, my friend. We're pretty much done. I hope you had a good time doing my closet refresh with me. I hope this inspired you to get your closet organized, get it together. I always tell people I've had this closet for so long. When I worked at Target is when I created this closet because I just wanted a better experience getting dressed every day. I was tired of digging in the back of a closet and just not, you know, having everything out in the forefront it helps me get dressed quicker, easier. It's just so functional. Um, you can build on piece by piece because that's usually most of the questions I get when I do closet things. So um, everything is from Ikea, FYI. Make sure you check out Lily Silk. I'm going to, after I finish this, I'm putting my Lily Silk pieces in the closet. So make sure you check them out. Again, I have two codes. They'll both be on the screen, but all the info you need will be below. They also have the Black Friday sale that I showed earlier. So make sure you check that out as well. Um, thanks to them for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!